Now, I don't know about you, but I like fishing. Either alone or with friends and family. You're in nature, it's silent, or maybe there's some sounds of rushing water in a river. Something about it is tranquil until you get a bite, and then it's a sun thrill and adrenaline rush as you fight against a fish and try to reel in your prize. I kind of grew up with fishing. However, as I've grown older, I haven't really gone anymore. But now that I've moved and I'm living in the countryside, I don't really have an excuse anymore. So fuck it. Today we're going fishing, and I'm going to be telling you about fishing in anime. Now, most of the time fishing is just used as a quick scene for the character to get some grub. In Dragon Ball, Goku just runs up on the fishies and nabs them out of the water. I say fishies, but they're actually pretty big and freaky, and I guess he did use fishing rods that one time. Ah! There's Hunter x Hunter, where Gon has his little super strong fishing rod that he uses as a weapon most of the time, but he does use it at the start to catch some fucking monstrous fish. There's Apari Ranman, Naruto, Somali the Forest Spirit, and the list just goes on for fishing that's shown just as a reason to give the characters food. But along with having scenes like that, there was a part in episode 21 of Samurai Champloo that looked at fishing a little bit deeper. Jin meets a hermit who gives him lessons on how to fish, and the scene has a lot more of a spiritual vibe. You have to see through the eyes of the fish, and go with the flow for success. Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach him how to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. The way Samurai Champloo portrayed fishing is a breath of fresh air compared to the typical 30 seconds of fishing just for survival. Not that anime needs to go into detail about the fishing, it was just cool to see. But is there any standalone shows solely about fishing? Well yeah, apparently there is. So let me show you some cool anime that's new, kind of old, and really fucking old. Each anime shows fishing in a different way, has their own lessons, as well as radiates their own theme and vibe. So let me get a bit more into detail on the experience I had with them, and maybe you'll find your next show to throw yourself into. So start out, we're gonna be going way back to 1980, to have a quick look at Sanpei. I'm gonna just call it Sanpei. Being as old as it is, all the art is hand painted, so it's really pleasant and nostalgic to look at. The fish, as well as the water animation, look alive. Overall, Sanpei has a cheerful, carefree type of feel. It seems like a nice show if you're in an old fashioned fishing type of mood. It also shows Japan's fish to be pretty fucking ruthless, so wild shit happens at the start. But unfortunately, I didn't get much further than the start because episode 2 on has completely useless subs. And I couldn't find anywhere to watch it where the subs were fixed. Just finding it in the first place was hard enough. So sadly, I don't have much more to say on this show, so let's move on to something a bit newer. Diary of Our Days at Breakwater is a show with cute anime girls who go fishing. It's another anime that was supposed to come out in spring, but got delayed because of COVID, so it's back to Aaron now. I've liked it a lot so far, and it shows all the feelings you get from fishing via cute anime girls. Like the excitement of catching a fish, the relaxation of being by the water, or the pleasure of eating your catch. Visually, it's really pretty. The backgrounds are colorful, the characters are cute, the fish are fishy, and it's just got a great feel to it overall. You can also expect to learn a little bit of general fishing knowledge. Everything from different ways of fishing to different types of fish. It's got all that fishing goodness with that familiar slice of life flavor. So if you've ever imagined being able to go fishing with your waifu, here's your chance, bud. Now I've saved my favorite for last. So we're going back to 1997 so I can show you the anime that I think captures the raw Bass Pro Shop Rise and Grind early morning fishing experience the best. Super Fishing Grander Musashi is a fishing anime made in 1997 and it's got two seasons. Outside of having a killer OP, It's about a boy, Musashi, and his father moving from the big city Tokyo to the countryside, and at first Musashi is not about it. However, not too long into living there, he starts to develop a passion for fishing. The show is overall a lot of fun and portrays fishing as something that you do for fun. It teaches you a lot too! From different fishing techniques to the specialties that different lures have. It captures the feeling of fishing really well, with beautiful hand-painted backgrounds, great animation for the fish and lures, big tackle boxes full of interesting fishing hooks, and the sounds great too, whether there's just background noise or the sounds of a fish splashing in the water. And when they get a bite, instead of going, oh, oh, like my family does, they scream, fish! 
and start giving her on the reel. The expressions of the characters, the stress of whoever's reeling in the fish, and the shots of the fish struggling all bring you into the moment. And sometimes, in the middle of it all, a fish will jump up and they'll do a postcard memory type of thing to hold that moment in place and let your feelings marinate a little bit. And speaking of postcard memories, considering this show's from 1997, it's got quite a few of them. I kind of forgot about them, considering they're not in nearly as many new anime, but I like them. There's also some pretty interesting things happening in the story too. There's a part where Musashi gets in a fight with his dad because his dad wants to move again, but with Musashi's newfound love for fishing, he didn't want to leave. And there's some fucking men in black fishermen who are like some secret fishing service type dudes with fucking fishing gear under their suits. It's great because the story is made up of more than just fishing tournaments. There's other more dramatic things happening in the story to spice it up. But it stays fishing themed the whole time so it stays charming and creative. I really enjoyed Super Fish and Grander Musashi. It does a great job at bringing you into its world and nails the whole fishing and being a nature theme perfectly. I'd recommend watching it if you like walking around the aisles at Bass Pro Shop. While I'm perfectly fine just seeing it every once in a while as a way to get food, it was a lot of fun getting to check out anime that are completely themed around fishing. They do a good job at capturing that fishing atmosphere. So whether you're somebody who's never fished before, or somebody who only says morin because if it was a good morin, you'd be fishing, there's some good fishing anime out there for you to experience. But that's all I got for this week. I know this video is quite a bit different than usual, so I'd like to thank you all so much for watching it till the end. And as always, a special thanks to this month's Patreons. Takumi, Baron, Waker, Juicy, Clay, Spooky Snake, and Kent. Your support helps me continue making videos, and it means the fucking world to me. Thank you, and see you all next week. And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the classics.